Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. I hope that the audio issues are fixed. They were caused because my last headset essentially bit the dust, and so I went out and got a new one, and it, for whatever reason, desyncs the audio. And I've played around with it, and I'm hopeful that this will fix it. Anyway, last time, we made it through the mall area of the recreation deck, and we have three digits of the transmitter code. We still don't have access to the crew quarters or the athletic sector, and we had arrived into the garden area to look for either the remaining two digits or the access to those places, or ideally both. So, let's pick it up there at Recreation B. We find ten prisms, which I'll go ahead and recycle. Stick to the upper level for now. Alright. And almost immediately we see a trap. If we do a better job bum rushing that midwife, we should be okay. You seek your associates, but you cannot find them. You are so very alone. How does it feel to be one against the infinite? Here. 
You performed well, Insect. I've transmitted some cy cybernetic modules. Choose your upgrades wisely. Getting the crew access card was worth a whopping 20 cyber modules. Brings me up to 72. The other corpse has 10 nanites on it. Now if we drop down here, we find another body with nothing. Another body also with nothing. And a third body with an antitoxin hypo. That, at least, is actually handy. Also notice the two worm piles down there. If we find some beakers and want to create some clusters, we have that option. Let's check over here. No idea what the code to that door is. Might just need the level one hack to make it inside. Let's check the other door. We got corpses again. Nothing on that one. This one, there's a grenade launcher in excellent condition. We will unload the one fragmentation grenade and recycle it. Now over here, we've got protocol droid crates. As usual, I feel compelled to destroy them. So I will. Okay. 
we'll explore the rest of the actual garden first. So that takes us back towards the crew sector and the athletic sector. Oh, well, so does this. Two pieces of the same area, it seems like. I hear a camera. Let's take care of it. Check out this conference room first. We have an audio log, Siddons, July 11th, 2114, regarding escape pods. Listen, there's one escape pod Xerxes didn't eject, but it's busted. I managed to get it functional, but I don't know how long it can stay that way. Make it there, Tommy, with or without me. If I don't get there, I want you to get the pod and go. You understand me? Take it and go. We also have two mugs and a pack of cigarettes, all three of which we can recycle. Let's head through this other door now. Looks like we're in a storage area. Nothing in the trash can. we can actually pick up there. Same story here. Same story here. And same story here. Well, I guess we'll head this little room next. I'm not sure where exactly I am. There is a freaking cyborg assassin in there. this picture. No. Alright, well, let's head on down to the lower level of this room and see what we can find. Container of nanites. Twenty. Never a bad thing. couple of corpses back here. This one has eight cyber modules on it. Brings my total up to 80. Here we have a speed booster and an endure boost implant, which we'll go ahead and recycle. out in the hallway now. I guess I'll search the restrooms first. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. That's unusual. That usually doesn't happen, but it's all good. That takes me back to this main hallway. Let's this door, since I haven't been in there yet. There's 
nothing in either of those trash cans. I hear another camera, and I also hear robots. Okay. I guess we'll head over here first. Unload this shotgun and recycle the slugs. Bodies empty. Six cyber modules on it. Awesome. Brings me up to 86. Obviously not getting through that door or that one. Here's where the robot came out. Let's check this area out. Nothing on that body. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting through there. Something's nearby. As far as those go, it's probably Go ahead and pull them over to us. Do the bullets first. We'll see. 
see if the gun is worth it. Yes, the gun has bullets in it too. Recycle everything. And there doesn't seem to be a way to actually get to that corpse. So, we will move on. We'll head left out of here. Knowing that there is a hybrid around. We find ourselves at the other path out of the garden area. Remember, there's the first room, so... Let's search this one. It's the Deck 5 Chemical Store Room. There are two security crates in here, which I can't do anything about. Here's the Chemical Manifest. Chemical Manifest Rec. Laboratory Stockroom Inventory Recreation Stockroom 213 Antimony SB2 Cesium CS2 Copper Cu2 Gallium GA1 Hassium HS2 Iridium IR2 Molybdenum, Molybdenum MO2 Tellurium TE2 Vanadium V2 Yttrium Y1 this inventory list is required by UNN Safety Code number 134882 to be kept on hand in all areas of hazardous chemical storage. Storage is defined by UNN Safety Code number 195331 to consist of all areas in which hazardous chemicals, see Safety Code number 093355, are stored in quantities greater than 50 grams per 10 square feet for durations of greater than 24 hours. That's fine. Let's head into this already spooky looking room. Empty crate. A Psy Hypo. Always welcome. A Med Hypo. Empty crate. get three cyber modules brings me up to 89 which you may recall means I can now afford to upgrade my size stat to six which is what I'm gonna do next well, let's head through here there's a grenade hybrid Hybrid's got nothing. Until I hear another chirp and then run down here and... Damn. Okay. So here we've got a passage into the crew quarters, which... You know, we now have access to, but we'll wait to go through the bulkhead till we finish searching the garden. We'll turn on the resurrection station for this area. I think we're going to come out of there eventually because there's not a way to open it from this side. If I head down here, what do I find? A 
broken keypad that I would have to repair in order to get to the recharging station and the maintenance access zone. I'm gonna use one of my auto repair units. Well, maybe. Because even then I'd still have to learn the code, I think. Yeah. So we won't mess with it for now. That's the bulkhead we saw that takes us back to the first map. Although, it's worth noting, all the uh, crew quarters accesses take us back to the first map, too. 43 nanites, three proximity grenades to recycle, and an audio log. Murdoch, July 9th, 2114, regarding blank. Let's see if we can come from the other side. Which I think we can. It is irritating though, we're starting to get to the point now where there are modules in at least two areas that I, at the moment, can't get into. I would need to find more ice picks, so. Babies must sleep. Babies must Something's gonna come out of there and attack me? Do you think maybe that's what's gonna happen? I think that's what's gonna happen. Oh well. Alright, let's search the ground level first. Doubt I can handle two at once with nothing other than the wrench, so. We're gonna hypnotize one, which will put it down, which will take it out of the picture for 30 seconds. During that window, we'll kill the other one. Hopefully, we can kill it within 30 seconds.
Search the rooms the assassin came out of. We've got three frag grenades. right there. Well, we got the two assassins and the robot, so now we can explore the lounge. On the bar, vodka, champagne, over here, two bottles of liquor, all of which we'll recycle. And an audio log. Delacroix, July 12th, 2114, regarding trusting Shodan. 
The analysts have cut us off from the transmitter. Shodan tells me that once we've got the transmitter back online and the ops computers reprogrammed, she'll be able to take control of the ship away from Xerxes. Who should I trust less? An imposter claiming to be that monster, or the monster herself? Here, behind the bar, there's a corpse with ten nanites and six armor piercing bullets. Twelve armor piercing bullets. Nothing. Time to head upstairs, I guess. Let's do exactly that. We got potted plants. Recycle both. Here we've got version 2 research software and two cyber modules. That brings me up to 91. That's obviously where we need to be. Must be through a different entrance. Let's head back out of here. Let's head across the hall to start. Discord. Oh, kill me. Come here, dude. Right. Uh, 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 despite the fact there are lots of female crew members, all of the hybrids are dudes. Are we? Uh, 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 There's the other one. He must be above me. That's fine, I'll search the lower level first. I got a pack of cigarettes. Ungrabbable, I think. Brushed in are two pool cues that must have fallen through the table. I'll take these two potted plants. Oh, there it was. Missed it again. All right. That left bracket means that a 1 is the first digit. So now we know that we have 1 for sure. At some point we have a 4, a 1, and a 0. So we all we don't know is the last digit. The code is either 1104 blank or 1410 blank. Just need to find the last digit. In the meantime though, let's check out the replicator. It's broken. No thanks. Three magazines and a mug for recycling. And an audio log, Cortez, July 9th, 2114, regarding Under the Garden. I've been working on dealing with all the bodies that have been stacking up. With the med base full and the escape pods and injection tubes mysteriously locked up all of a sudden, we've got to do something with them. I've chosen the maintenance tunnel underneath the garden as an internment site. Keep that code 34093. I'm telling everyone all to right, be careful. Alright, we got a code 34093. We'll head back there. First, we'll take his disposable maintenance tool and recycle it. And we need to see what's up these grav shafts set up there. A grenade hybrid. Oh, almost. We are, we are, we are, we are. Your flesh will Good night. welcome us. <laughs> now the corpse has a Psyamp and a crystal shard on it. 
and that's it. Let's head back down the grab shaft. backtrack too much. Let's go ahead and search the security station, since we did already kill the robot. Although I want to take out the camera before I do anything else. Oh, there's a turret. Oh, it's just the camera. How silly of me. Such luck. Alright, gotta be fast. Faster than that. Alright, take care of the camera. Which leaves a turret. Which I'm hoping I can bum right. be misplaced. I can usually move faster than these things, so oh, what the hell is it? seen that hallway. We'll leave that hybrid alone for now. We'll search this little substation. We've got a security crate, a laser pistol, the corpse has a med hypo, and five cyber modules. Nothing in the burned out lockers. The desk has three disruption grenades, which I'll recycle. What's down this last hallway? Hey, 
it, we got an antelid healing gland. And destroyed the egg unscathed. Based on the lack of organ, I think it was also a toxic egg. suit, an anti-toxin hypo, <clears throat> and three incendiary grenades. I don't think I've seen incendiary grenades before. They just say, this grenade releases a quick dispersing white phosphorus. WP can cause cyanosis, intestinal pain, and perhaps coma or death. It generally only affects organic targets. No matter, we'll recycle it like it's our job. Am I at? 96 cyber modules now. This body has an ice pick on it. That's always welcome. And lo and behold, we made it to the other side of this door without having to burn any resources. Which is good, because there are three EMP grenades and five cyber modules in here. Have I seen EMP grenades before? EMP grenades yield more impressive results in terms of damaging or destroying nearby electronics than an EMP rifle. However, they also come with a much lower rate of fire and a stratospherically higher cost per usage. Let's recycle those. Hold on to the ice pick, of course. There's an EMP rifle in perfect condition. I don't know what that switch did. Doesn't really matter. Now before we head back to the crew sector, we got the code to that locked door in the garden. So let's head back there. Code is 34093. Nothing on 
either of their corpses. There's nothing inside the other egg. Let's destroy it. Let's kill the grub. Inside a solid brush. As long as it can't hurt me, it doesn't matter. Let's search the bodies then. 56 nanites, a psi hypo, a standard issue combat armor, plus four cyber modules, and six rifle plugs, which I'll recycle. So, with that done, time for us to make our way back to the crew quarters. But we'll uh we'll head back into the opening area just so I can get an upgrade since I finally have enough modules to do so. I do want to get to this upper level, though. I still haven't seen a way to do that, except probably to jump from this window. This one looks better. Okay, he tried to mantle just then, but I guess he didn't have space. We can search the corpse, though. Three frag grenades and three cyber modules. You know, if I can get the modules, it's kind of tough for me to care about finding the way up there. But I do want to know where that tunnel comes from. units right quick. For now, I'm going to roll to stats, and I'm going to take Psy to 6. Psy is maxed. I have 19 modules left, and everything I have left is going to go on the, go into the Psy station. My next purchase is 4th tier Neural Capacity, which also costs 89 modules. Oh, we are 70 away from that lofty goal. We have access to the crew quarters now, so... I'm gonna call it a video here. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We've got access to the crew quarters, and we have four digits of the five-digit code, so... Next time, we'll explore the crew quarters, try to find the last digit, then try to find the transmitter itself to turn it on. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.
Hey guys, just really quickly, I was thinking about it and I think I figured out what the switch next to the recharger through the broken maintenance door did, and it was foolish of me not to think of this earlier. Let's just run back to the garden zone for a quick trip. Hey, look, respawn. <laughs> Oh, very good, sir. That's the triathlon way. Gotta get past these fools. I think that mystery switch opened this maintenance hatch. Of course it did. And that is what brings us here. Of course, there's nothing else in here, but... It's always worth checking, I think. So with that done, I'll head back once more to the entrance to the crew quarters. The first one. I noticed there was still a little bit of audio desync on the last one. I think I, this time I'm hopeful at least that I figured out what brought that on. Let me see if this small second chunk has audio fixed or not, but either way, now I'll really see you next time. Bye-bye.